Mm, Daddy has that truck running. Oh, well, the truck running good, you know. I had it 22 years now. I ain't never burned a drop of oil. Hell, I was hanging out down at the Ford house last week. You know, Bill was like, boy, we ought to change your oil for free just because it's so clean. I don't listen to him. He tried to tell me that old Sears Craftsman lawnmower he bought in 1978 ain't burned a drop of oil. I mean, I wouldn't really let them mess with it anyhow. They got his boy working over there, you know. And I feel like he's got a few chapters stuck together in his book. You think he reckon that boy you going to make the football team this year? No, he didn't, he didn't make the football team. You know, I mean, I, I don't think sports are going to be his. Uh, I think maybe art school might be his thing. He just, he just ain't good at nothing, you know. I mean, just... You know, there's respectable work you can do with a paintbrush. Ain't yeah, nothing wrong with be good at painting, you know. Hell, that old fella painted my house, charged me there and said $700. There's money to be made there. I mean, yeah, he holds a flashlight like a blind woman. It's the worst thing you ever seen in your life. Heck, ain't none of mine hold a flashlight. There gum, Diamond Jim. Did you go out and buy a brand new carburetor? Oh, he's big time in it. Hey, big time. And it's just, hell, it's cheaper to buy the carburetor than it is to find a kit for the daggum thing anymore with these old Honda. That's why I never fool with Honda. I got that Briggs and Stratton on my auger, and that thing been running 30 years. I ain't never burned a drop of oil. Oh, here we go. Daddy, this one ain't never burned a drop of oil either. I just had some bad gas in it. It gummed everything up. How's old Junior doing? Oh, he lost his job in the oil field and running his mouth. I always told that boy, boy, you ought to be able to make a living running that mouth. Oh, he always was a character, boy. He used to get his butt tore up at the church about once a week, it felt like. Boy, I, I used to say, once that boy started talking, he never did quit. Oh, now he's decided he's going to be one of them stand-up comics. I don't know where he got an idea like that. What's that, Sonny? I said he's going to be a comedian, Daddy. I like Bob Hope, didn't he come out and entertain you? Oh, I remember that Bob Hope. I never thought he was that funny. Well, he apparently did pretty good with it. He got in a big show headlining a real big comedy club in Houston called the Houston Improv, and he's going to be there May 25th. Well, that all sounds like something. I might ought to make the trip. Yeah, I might need to make the trip, too. I know he'd sure like to see y'all. Okay, where you going, boy? You pop all the boy? Hey, well, do me a favor, boy. Once you run over there, wrench off behind my driver's seat, get that dolly, go help your Mimo unload all them Sunday school decorations. Hey, you heard your papa. Go out there and help your Mimo. That's right. Well, ain't that Sister Williamson over there getting out of the car now? I don't see Brother Billy anywhere. Well, Sherry Kay said that Billy got back off in his cups again. Well, I ain't, I ain't heard that, but it makes sense. That's just what she told me, you know. She was hanging out with Sister Williamson last week, and oh, really? Mm. Well, that's a shame. That's too bad. You know, that's why I didn't take too much out-of-town work when y'all was kids. Yep, I never did too much out-of-town work. Same reason. Can get into trouble. Amen. You know, it's, it's hard to find Jesus in a hotel room. Amen to that. Larry, y'all get your truck fixed. Yeah, I worked on it all week. Put one of them AutoZone clutches in it. And boy, that thing would pull the grease string out of a cat's butt. I'm going to have to take it back and warrant it out. Mm -mm -mm. Won't do that again. Ain't nothing but AC Delco from here on now. You know, you had to take that gas tank off change the carburetor. Well, I just figured while I had it tore down, I'd go ahead and change the plug and oil and all that good stuff, too. You put some anti-seize on that spark plug? Oh, Daddy, I always put just a little bit of anti-seize on them plugs. You know, I don't want them getting stuck. Me and the boys just call that the silver mess that gets everywhere. That's a, that's a pretty accurate description there, brother. But it does a job. You got that in right. Don't over tighten it, sonny. I ain't gonna over tighten it. Don't wanna over tighten it, that's for sure. How long you think it's gonna take you to change that carburetor? It's just too nuts. Oh, I'd probably get this done a hell of a lot quicker if y'all weren't here jacking my jaw. What's that? Try to get this done. Get out there and get fishing a little bit this evening. I went out there last night, I didn't catch nothing. I just hit a little top water, you know. Well, that's your mistake right there. I I'd have used that old black worm with a blue tail weight on it. Oh, you know me, I go with that that clear baby torpedo. If I don't get them, nothing will. Black worm, blue tail. Works every time. Oh, hell, I had the kids catch me some minners earlier. Well, live bait, that don't feel like cheating to you? <laughs> it ain't cheating if I'm eating. I don't think that's what that means. What else would it mean?